So start and laying down on your back. And then see if you can start an inch of asana pose, so porch pose. Laying down with the feet about hip width distance or the width of the mat if you're on a yoga mat. Letting the hands come either side of the body, but see if you can just walk the hands a little bit away from the body with the palms face up. And then just gently close down the eyes. We've got a 60 minute yin practice this evening. So if you've not done yin yoga before, then um, just kind of bringing your awareness to what you're gonna do for the next 60 minutes. Yin is the slower paced feminine side of the practice. So we've got a yin and a yang side, the body and the mind. So we're really gonna slow down the breath, slow down the body, and then in turn, the mind is gonna slow down so that we can bring the attention inwards. So we will hold the poses for a little bit longer than you might be used to in another style of yoga. And you might find it a little bit frustrating for your mind if you've got any kind of monkey mind. So as you lay down on the mat with the eyes closed, I want you to just start to check in with your body. Start to just notice how your body feels today. Acknowledging that everyone's yoga practice is different. So what you might feel in, the, in a certain pose, somebody else might not. So just seeing if you can really check in with how your body feels. How does your breath feel? Is it shallow or deep? What's the temperature on the skin? And just taking a, a mental scan of the body from the top of the head, just starting to check in with every part of the body from the head to the neck and the shoulders. Bringing your awareness to the arms, the chest, the stomach and the hips and the legs. And if there's any particular part of the body that's kind of speaking to you or communicating with you about the aches or pains, then seeing if you can just listen to that and honor yourself through the practice by taking it at your own pace. So not pushing yourself past your comfort zone of, into the point of pain. Instead, we're gonna use the breath to go a little bit deeper into the pose. So we're starting laying down on our back this evening so that we can really bring the awareness into the body. And then option to keep the hands where they are. You're gonna stay laid down or you can bring the hands on top of the stomach. So either on top of the belly button or maybe one hand on the belly button and one hand on the heart, the middle of the chest. And then I want you to just notice the natural rate of breath. So naturally we often breathe quite shallow. You might not even really be able to feel the stomach do much movement as you just breathe naturally. And then we're gonna to start to engage in the breath and start to really deepen the breath down towards the stomach. So as you take a deep inhale in, see if you can really breathe in and send the belly to the, sorry, send the breath to the bottom of the belly. And then as you breathe out, just let it go through the mouth. So we're gonna do that together. So with the eyes closed, take a deep breath in through the nose, taking as much oxygen as you can through to the bottom of the belly. And then as you exhale, just open the mouth and just let the breath fall out. Don't force the breath out, just let it fall out. Taking a deep breath in through the nose for the count of four, three, two, one. Open the mouth and just let the breath fall out. Keep the eyes closed if they've opened, taking a deep breath in through the nose, feel the belly rise. And then open the mouth and let it go. So you need to make that a continuous breath. So as you take a deep breath in for the count of four, three, two, one. And then as you get to the top, just smoothly letting the breath go out through the mouth. And then on the next one, we're gonna to start to introduce a breath hold. So taking a deep breath in through the nose. And then at the top of the breath, you're gonna hold the breath, feel the stomach and the ribs starting to engage as that breath holds in the body. See if you can soften the shoulders into the mat. And then exhale the breath through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose. When you feel as if you can't fill your lungs with any more breath, you're gonna take one more sip of breath in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top. See if you can soften the throat and the chest. Bring your awareness to your third eye in between the eyebrows. With the eyes closed, we just bring your awareness to that point in between the eyebrows and the forehead. As you keep that breath in, letting that oxygen travel to every part of the body, all the cells and muscles. And then exhale, just let the breath go. One more, take a deep breath in through the nose. 
Really send the breath as far down to the belly as you can. Hold the breath at the top. Let the body be completely heavy as you hold the breath. Feel the oxygen going through the body and the blood, sending it to all the organs and muscles, and then gently exhale. And then starting to connect in with a more equal breath. You're going to take a deep breath in through the nose for the count of three. Option to hold at the top, and then you're going to exhale through the nose this time. So again, hands can come to the stomach to really connect with the breath, or you can leave them down by the side of the body. Either way, we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Three, two, one. Option to pause at the top, but make sure the body is soft. And then as you exhale, keep the lips closed and just exhale through the nose. Seeing if you can keep this rate of breath for the class unless we do a particular breath exercise. Breathing in through the nose for the count of three. And then exhale and slowly out through the nose for the count of three. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And then option here before we start to move the body to set yourself one intention for the, for the class. So it can really help if you've got some kind of tension that you want to release in the practice, maybe an injury you want to recover from. Maybe a feeling you're trying to cultivate in your body, in your life at the moment. Just keeping that out, attention and intention in your awareness for the rest of the practice. And then on the next inhale, you're going to keep the body where it is, but just raise the arms up towards the sky. So the hands are directly above the shoulders towards the sky, but the shoulders are nice and heavy. And then you're just going to start to rotate the wrists. So nice and slow, as if the wrists are kind of moving through treacle, really slow. Remembering the breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then starting to change the direction of the wrists, the other direction. And then when you're ready, we're going to see if we can let the body be heavy. We're just going to start to move the arms in the next pose. So on the inhale, keep the palms up towards the, the hands up towards the sky, the palms faced inwards as if you're kind of holding a ball above the face. And then on the inhale, you're going to see if you can lower your hands above the head. So imagine you've got a ball in between your hands and you take it above the head towards the ground. And then on the exhale, you're going to bring the hands back up. So the challenge here is to let the body be completely heavy and just move with the arms. So on the inhale, take the hands above the head towards the ground as far as you can go. The shoulders will let you. And then on the exhale, you're going to bring it back up. Now you might feel some clicks and twitches in the shoulders here. As long as it's not painful, just breathe through it as you move through the arms, taking them back towards the ground and then bringing it back up towards the sky. Remembering the breath, taking a deep breath in through the nose as you take the arms back. As you exhale, really lift the hands up, keep the body nice and still. Inhale, hands above the head. Exhale down. This time you're going to take the hands down towards the side of the body on the inhale. So drop the hands either side of the hips on the inhale. And then on the exhale, take it up. So nice slow movements, but we're just trying to get into the shoulder joints. Inhale, the hands down towards the floor on the inhale. And then exhale back up. One more. Take a deep breath in as you lower the hands towards the hips. And then exhale, take them back up. And this time the hands are going to come down by the side of the body. You're going to bend the knees and bring the feet into the mat. And then just start to notice if there's any space between the shoulders and the ears. So when we lay down, we can often be quite bunched up. Seeing if you can walk the shoulders away from the ears so you've got a nice long neutral spine. And then walk the feet so that they're comfortable enough on the ground, but they're as close to the form as you can. Seeing if you can just kind of touch the back of the heels with your hands. If you can't get them that close, then that doesn't matter, but just make sure that the feet are nice and grounded against the floor. And then hands are going to stay at the side of the body, but you're going to make sure that the palms are faced up. And then for now, we're just going to start to push the feet into the mat. The hips are going to stay on the floor, but just start to push the feet into the mat. You should start to feel the hips kind of wanting to come off the ground a little bit. And then we're going to use the breath going into bridge pose. So taking a deep breath in through the nose, as you breathe in, you're going to push into the mat with the feet and let's just lift our hips just very gently off the ground and then gently lower back on the exhale. So with the breath, we move. On the inhale, we move the hips up towards the sky. And then on the exhale, we lower down. Inhale, lifting the hips up, tucking the tailbone under, pushing the glutes towards the sky. 
and then exhale, lowering back down. Option to bring the arms in here on the next inhale as the, the hips go up, the arms go up as well. See if you can get them to the floor behind you, behind the head. And then on the exhale, the hips and the arms come back down. See if you can close the eyes for this and really let the breath lead the movement. So go at your own pace. Don't feel as if you need to follow my pace. Pick a pace that's right for you, whether you need to go a little bit faster this evening because you've got some energy to burn off or whether you just want to take the movement nice and slow. The slower we take this movement, actually, the more work that we're doing because the muscles have to really engage as we slowly lift the hips up towards the sky on the inhale. And then as we lower down towards the ground on the exhale. We're going to do two more of these. So take an inhale, really lift the hips up, push the feet into the mat, use the feet to lift the hips up, and then exhale back down. And then on the next one, we're going to hold. So option to keep the arms on the ground or up towards the sky and then behind you, lift the hips. You're going to hold the breath at the top and then you're going to hold the pose as well. Keep the hips lifted up, hold that breath. Remembering to focus on that third eye if your mind's getting distracted. And then exhale, lower down to the mat. And then bring the knees in towards the chest. Grab each knee with the hand. So right hand on right knee, left on left. And then for now, you're just going to rock from side to side. As if you're trying to give your lower back a bit of a massage. See if you can get the knees a little bit closer towards the, the, the chest. So the closer the knees come in, the more of a stretch we're going to get in the lower back. And then seeing if you can rock from side to side, almost as if you're going to get a go, go onto the side of the body. Just before you do, rock into the other side. So massage in the kidneys, the adrenal glands, the things that regulate our fight or flight and adrenaline. I'm giving them a little bit of massage, send us some fresh blood flow, and then gently coming back to neutral. And then this time you're going to take the knees and you're going to see if you can bring the knees towards the chest. And then you're going to separate the knees out, take them away from you. Then they're going to meet at the top and then come back. So the knees are doing circles, but in opposite direction. So opening the hips and then bringing them back to centre. Again, keeping the eyes closed if you can. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can release the arms out either side of the body and see if you can just circle the knees round without using the hands. The key here is to try and relax the lower back into the mat. We don't want an arch in the back. You want it nice and relaxed. Remembering to use the breath if you've forgotten. Come back to the inhale in through the nose and out through the nose. And then when you're ready, gently bringing the knees back together. Hugging the knees as close to the chest as you can. And then on the next inhale, you're going to straighten both legs towards the sky. Option here, if you've got a belt or a dressing gown, belt or a yoga strap, you can start to use that here as well. You don't necessarily need to, but it can just sometimes help create a little bit more space in the pose. So both feet are going to be towards the sky. And for now, we're just going to start to sway the legs from the left and the right. So as if the lower back's getting a massage with the legs as the legs just go from left to right. Don't worry if your feet aren't that high, maybe your knees are bent, that's fine. We're just looking for the legs to be off the ground here and have a little bit of an inversion and just start to use the breath to move. So maybe on the inhale, you go to the left of the legs and the exhale, you go to the right. So in an inversion, we're sending fresh blood, obviously from the feet upside down, down the legs to the hips. And then when you're ready, you're going to come back to center and let's just circle the, the uh, uh, ankles. I don't remember the name of, <laughs> name of them then. Circling the ankles in one direction and then circling the opposite. Again, your eyes might have opened here yeah, either to check that you're doing the pose right or to look what you're doing yourself. See if you can close the eyes and just go with your intuition. And then as you very gently lower the left foot towards the ground, keep a bend in the left knee. Place the left foot into the mat. See if you can straighten that right leg a little bit more than before. And then this is where you can bring the strap in. If you've not got a strap, you're going to grab the back of your right thigh. If you've got a strap, then you're going to bend the right knee and just place the strap onto the sole of the right foot. Again, making sure the shoulders are walked away from the ears. And then find a place with the strap so that the right, foot, right leg can be straight, not in pain, but maybe like a... a, a discomfort where you're stretching into the back of the, of the right thigh and then you're going to make sure that the shoulders are dropped onto the mat so if you have got a strap take it quite long so the shoulders aren't active if you've not got a strap and you've got hold of the back of the right leg you're just going to see if you can straighten it a little bit more 
And then we're going to hold the breath here. Close down the eyes. So we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. As you hold the breath, just relax every part of the back into the floor. And then as you exhale out, see if you can straighten that leg a little bit further. Take a deep breath in through the nose, keep the eyes closed. Hold the breath at the top. And as you hold that breath in, visualize the breath going straight to the back of that right thigh, melting away the tension, stretching and creating more space in the back of the thigh. And as you exhale out, just soften that leg a little bit more. Two more deep breaths at your own pace. Option to hold at the top if that feels right. Visualizing that breath going straight to the back of that right thigh. The deeper we breathe, the more we stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system, which will tell the muscles to relax. So really deep belly breaths in this pose. And then if your hand is on the back of your right thigh, Option to bring it onto the front of the right thigh. You can even lower the hands for this bit. If you've got a strap, then you're going to take the strap it with the left hand and just let the right hand come down towards the ground. And then whether you've got hold of a strap or not, you're just going to let that left foot go very slightly towards the left. So just even a gentle movement might just create a little bit more stretch in the right leg. You're going to hold there and you're going to do three deep breaths. So really dedicating the breath to just switching off any thoughts that are in the mind, switching off any desire to go to the next pose and just sitting with the discomfort in the back of the leg to create a little bit more space and release a little bit more tension. Using the breath, we don't breathe in yin, then we're not gonna get very far in the pose because the mind is gonna feel distracted and restless. So really using the breath. And then gently bringing the foot back straight and then option to take that foot to the right slightly. You can use the right hand on the strap or you can just keep your right hand on the right thigh. See if you can let that right leg pull out to the right, but the left knee is going to stay where it is. And then again, using the breath, taking two deep breaths here. Holding the breath at the top and then with the exhale, just seeing if you can settle into the pose a little bit more. And then after your next exhale, gently bringing the foot back to center, bending the right knee, releasing the strap if you've got hold of the strap. Either way, you're going to take the right hand to the right knee and just start to shake it from left to right and roll in the hip in the socket. You can even take it into circles if that feels right. And then very gently placing that right foot towards the mat. You're going to pause for a second before we go to the other side. We're going to put both hands on top of the belly button. And you're going to see if you can sink that lower back into the mat a little bit more. Close down the eyes and just start to bring your awareness to your left and right leg. What changes has that pose done to the blood flow in the right leg? Can you feel that fresh flow of energy through the right leg? The le left leg might feel a bit more stagnant. Taking a deep breath in through the nose. Feel the belly rise under the hands and then hold that breath in. Hold that oxygen in, starting to stimulate the endocrine system. Parasympathetic nervous system, hold that breath in. All the good stuff, letting the body rest and restore. And then as you exhale out, release the hands from the stomach and then let's straighten the left leg towards the sky. Again, option to grab the back of the thigh if that's enough for you. But if you want to, you can bend the knee and just put that strap onto the left foot. And then again, if you've got a strap, making sure that your arms aren't kind of reached up so your shoulders are off the mat. You want the shoulders to be heavy in the mat. Straighten the leg as much as you can. So if you've got tight hamstrings, which is really common, it can be quite painful to straighten it. So we don't want it to be painful. Just find your edge where it feels a bit stretched and then the breath will take you a bit further so you can eventually straighten it a little bit more. So we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. We're going to hold the breath at the top, close down the eyes if they're opened. And then on the exhale, you're just going to straighten that leg a little bit more to get that stretch and put a little bit more space in the left leg. And then on the next breath, take a deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath at the top, see if you can soften the throat and visualize that breath going straight to the back of that left thigh. 
melting away any tension, softening the tension, softening the muscles, and then exhale out. Continue at your own pace with them breaths. Bringing the awareness onto your own breath, going at a pace that suits you. Seeing if you can edge that leg a little bit closer to, if it is completely straight, you can edge it a little bit closer towards you. And then when you finish your next full breath, don't rush to finish the breath, take it at your own pace. Option to drop the left hand onto the mat this time, and then the right hand's gonna grab the strap, or you can just release the hands to the floor. And then just take the foot very slightly, sorry, the leg very slightly to the right. So this will start to ping off a couple of stretches in the back of the right left thigh. Just start to notice where your body's holding tension in the legs. Continuing to breathe and send that blood flow to the leg. Three deep breaths in, deep breaths out. One more deep breath. Starting to feel the back of the lower, the back of the lower back, sorry, the lower back melting into the mat. If it helps, you can visualize a warm sun or a warm hot water bottle or something on the lower back so that it can just melt and soften a little bit more. And then option to bring the foot back where it was straight and aligned. And then just take it to the left. See if you can keep the right knee where it is. Don't let that come over with you. Just take the left foot over as far as you can, keeping it as straight as you can to get a really deep stretch. Again, keeping the eyes closed, coming back to the breath. If the thoughts are coming and maybe being a bit distracting, then just bring your attention back to the breath. Just continue to train the mind to come back to the breath. Take one more deep breath. And then when you're ready, very gently bring that foot back to center. Bend the left knee, release the strap to the side. And then just start to circle that left knee, bringing all the blood flow back into that left hip socket, changing the directions of the circles. And then gently bringing the right knee up to meet the left. And then we're gonna do the circles again. So bringing the knees towards the chest as close as you can. Separating the knees out, taking the knees away from you. And then meeting back at the top, nice big circles. Option to release the hands and see if you can keep that lower back connected to the ground as you just circle the knees into the hips. So bringing your awareness to the left and the right. And really trying to isolate the muscles of the hips so that when we move the knees round, we're releasing any of that tension that we hold. Option to change the direction of the circles with the knees. And then gently place both feet back down to the mat. This time you're gonna walk the feet away from each other and then you're gonna let the knees fall into center line. So the feet are about mat width distance and the knees are gonna to knock together. And then option with the hands, you can take the hands out like a T. So either side of the body in a nice straight line. Or if you want to, you can bend the elbows and place the back of the hands to the mat behind you. If you need to, if your shoulders won't get this, you can put a cushion at the back of your head, sorry, above your head. Place the back of the hands there so your arms are in cactus. So really letting the elbows and the shoulders relax into the mat. Really connect the hips into the mat, the back of the hips and the glutes. Just let them completely relax. Keeping the eyes closed and just seeing if you can let the body be heavy. Notice the natural rate of the breath and see if we need to connect back in with the three, inhale in, and then count the count of three, exhale out. Staying connected to the breath. And then when you're ready, very gently bringing the hands down either side of the body. Bringing the knees together, you're going to bring the knees towards the chest as much as you can, and then you're going to let the knees fall to the left. So, if you can, let the knees fall to the ground. If you can't, then pop a cushion under the knees so it catches the knees. And then your hands are going to go out like a T, and you're going to look to the right hand. And then, depending what's happening in your hips and your thighs, see if you need to pop a cushion under in between the knees, maybe. Try and keep both shoulders connected to the ground. If the knees need to be higher, you're going to get more benefit than letting them fall over, but letting the shoulder come off. And then holding here with the eyes closed, see if you can really let the left 
and right hip just completely surrender towards the left side of the mat. With the eyes closed, I want you to just start to visualize a bright sun shining down on the face, the warmth on the forehead, the cheeks. See if you can relax the jaw, the eyebrows, back of the neck. With every breath you take, just let that right hip completely surrender over towards the left. Bring your awareness to the kidneys and the lower back. Just acknowledging that this pose is detoxing, twisting out any tension in the side body. Mm -hmm. Taking one more deep inhale in and exhale out. And then before you move the legs, I want you to bring your head back to center so you've got a nice neutral spine. And then use the left hand to lift up the knees and then you're gonna come back to center. And before we go to the opposite side, you're gonna hug the knees in as tight as you can. And then you're gonna let the knees fall over to the right. Arms come out like a T. And then again, you can look to the left. If it doesn't feel right for the neck, then just keep a neutral spine. So on this, way, on this side for me, if I look to the left, it doesn't feel right. I'm on the right side of my neck, it's quite painful. So just listen to your own body and just acknowledge that your body is unique to you. It's not about what the pose looks like, it's about how it feels for you. So let the arms just completely relax into the mat. Let the left, the left and the right knee fall over to the right. If you need to pop a cushion under the knees, then do so. Coming back to the breath, taking deep breaths in with the eyes closed. Holding the breath at the top so that we maximize that oxygen intake. And then exhale out. Deep breath in. Hold. Deep breath out. One more round of deep inhalation, retention, and exhalation. And then again, if you're looking over to the left, Bring the head back first so that the spine's nice and neutral. And then instead of bringing the knees up, you're gonna bring the left arm over to meet the right arm. And then you're gonna use the hands. Gently push yourself up and nice and slow. So you might feel very gently lightheaded as you come to stop, sit up. Just push yourself up to a seated position, nice and slow. And then option for the hips. If you've got a little cushion, or a pillow, or even a blanket. You're just gonna prop it onto the back of the hips so that the back of the hips is on the cushion and the front of the pelvis is tilted downwards. And then find a comfortable place for your legs. So one, one leg crossed on top of the other if you can, if that's right for you in lotus pose. If you can't cross the legs, then they can be out in front of you, or you can just bend the knees and put the feet into the mat. So finding your meditation pose where you can sit nice and tall, seeing if you can really lengthen into the spine. So we quite often, especially if we're laptop users, we tend to lean forward. Seeing if you can really imagine that you're sitting up nice and tall and lengthening into that torso. Hands are going to come to the back of the knees, top of the knees, sorry, back of the hands, and then pace the palms face towards the sky. And then you're going to bring all four fingers into the palm, and then you're going to wrap your thumb inside them four fingers. So four fingers towards the palms and the thumb just kind of tucked under. And then keep the fingers where they are, but just kind of loosen it. So don't, don't hold it like you're holding a fist, just like relax the fingers into the pose a little bit. And then I want you to pick something in front of you that you can look at with your eyes so that your gaze is nice and neutral. So we don't want the chin towards the chest. And we don't want it kind of up towards the sky. We just want something kind of about three foot in front of us so that the spine feels nice and neutral. And then option to keep the eyes open here or option to close them, completely up to you and what feels right. And before we go into the last part of the practice, we're gonna connect in with a pranayama exercise. So pranayama meaning energy, breath exercise. So just starting to notice the natural rate of the breath. If it's deep or shallow, And then we're going to start to take inhalations in through the mouth. 
and out through the nose. So we're going to take a deep breath in through the mouth. And then you're just going to let the breath fall out of the nose. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. As you take a deep breath in through the mouth, see if you can really suck the breath into the bottom of the belly. As you let the breath fall out of the nose, just soft and slow. In through the mouth. Out through the nose. If you start to feel a little bit lightheaded, just slow the breath down. Remember in the seat and bones, feel nice and grounded through the air. You do start to feel a bit lightheaded and continuing to breathe in through the mouth, out through the nose. In through the mouth, out through the nose. Five more of these. Take a deep breath in through the mouth, out through the nose. Four more. In, out. Maximizing in your oxygen, really taking the deep breaths in. Two more breaths. Keep your awareness on the breath. Getting the last bit of oxygen in before we start to hold the breath. One more. And then the next one you're gonna hold. You're gonna take a deep breath in through the mouth. You're gonna hold the breath at the top. You're gonna close the eyes, seal the lips shut, drop the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Keep that breath held into the body. Knowing the body doesn't need to breathe because you've maximized the oxygen in the body. So you need to just sit with that sacred stillness for a second, let the body be heavy. And then when you need to just journey, exhale and through the nose or the mouth, whatever comes naturally. And then starting to bring the awareness back into the body, let's just start to circle the wrists. Take the arms out either side of the body and just start to make nice big circles with the wrists and then change direction in the opposite way. And then starting to release into the shoulders before we start to come to the relaxation part of the practice. You're going to release the hands out like a T. And then on the inhale, you're going to take the arms into cactus. So lowering the elbows towards the side of the body. And then on the inhale, you're going to take the arms out like a T again. Sorry, on the exhale. So on the inhale, we're going to cactus the arms. And then on the exhale, reach out like a T. Inhale, cactus. Really use the fingers, spread the fingers and the palms of the hands so that they're nice and active. And just move at your own pace here. So moving with the breath. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, straighten. Starting to notice all the muscles around the shoulder blade and the neck. Starting to move as you really reach out with the breath and then reach in. Keeping the eyes closed if you can, just start to bring the awareness to the shoulders. Taking one more movement. And then when you're ready, very gently bringing the hands back down towards the top of the knees. This time we're going to do a chin mudra, so the okay sign with the thumb and the index finger, letting the back of the hands relax onto the knees. And then on the inhale, you're going to keep the hands nice and heavy, but inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. And then on the exhale, you're going to roll the shoulders back down the body. Making sure that the torso is nice and tall. Inhale the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, lower them back down. Inhale up. Exhale, back down. One more big circle with the shoulders. And then when you're ready, gently blinking the eyes open, removing the cushion of your sitting back onto the cushion of your sit bones. And then you're going to come with the hands behind you. And you're going to very gently just start to windscreen wipe the legs from side to side. So put the feet into the mat if they're not there already. And just start to let the knees go from left to right. And then when you're ready, bringing the feet back to center, you can release the legs out straight or option to bring them into butterfly legs so that your soles of your feet are together. Whatever way feels comfortable, you're going to see if you can balance on the left hand and then on the inhale, you're going to straighten that right hand towards the sky and then you're going to hold the breath and hold the pose. Reach up with that right hand so you've got it stretched on the right side of the body. And then on the exhale, you're going to finish that circle with the right hand by taking it behind you as much as you can. On the inhale, you're taking the left arm up in front of you towards the sky. Look up if that feels right. Hold the breath, hold the posture, and then take it around. And then starting to make the circles a little bit more fluid. So really circling that left arm round. Starting to release into the right shoulder before we come to relaxation. And then starting to take the circles in the opposite direction. So taking the left, right arm behind you, starting to circle round. 
See, if you can keep the body still, so the body and the torso is going to kind of want to come round with the body, oh, sorry, with the arm. See if you can keep the body still and just isolate that right shoulder. And then after one big circle, you're going to lower that right arm behind you. Taking the left arm up towards the sky, reach towards the sky, hold the breath, hold the pose. And then as you exhale, I'll finish that circle with the left arm, making a nice big round movement. And then continue this with the breath and option to hold at the top of that feels right. And then starting to make a little bit more fluid circles with the breath as you go around. Again, starting to notice if the body wants to move with the arm, just try and isolate that left arm. The left shoulder blades, the top of the shoulders and the top of the neck, which carry so much weight of the body, but also a lot of anxiety or weight of the world. Often say he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. That's where we hold a lot of tension. So moving through there, starting to change the direction of the circles, taking the left arm behind you and back round. And then this time on the next big circle, you're going to lower that left hand to the ground behind you. And then I want you to start to tuck the chin towards the chest. Just pause there for a second. If your legs are in butterfly legs, just let the knees collapse even out towards the side. And then gently using the hands, walk the hands back up towards the hips. And then keep the legs in butterfly legs. If you've got a pillow or a cushion, you're going to set yourself up so that when you come to lay down on the mat, the legs are going to stay where they are, but the torso and the spine is going to be completely supported. So if you've got a bolster, you can pop it up, or in fact, even better than a bolster is a pillow, because the length of the pillow is going to be about the length of the spine that you want it to connect to the ground. If you've got a couple of pillows, Try and make the top of the pillow where your head's going to be. Try and make that higher. So I like to think of it like a bit like a sun lounger. When you get a spot by the pool and you've got a sun lounger where the head is higher, like a slope. And then you're going to walk the back of the hip, back of the hips, the bottom of the spine to the lower part of cushions. And then with butterfly legs, soles of the feet are together and the knees are out. And you're just going to want to bounce the knees a little bit just to start to get into that hip joint. If you can't get into butterfly legs, your feet are going to come to the mat and you're going to have a really generous bend in the knee. And then wherever you are to set up for this pose, we're going to create some length. So on the inhale, you're going to straighten the hands up towards the sky. See if you can lengthen in that torso. Start to tuck the tailbone under. So if you've got, as if you've got a tail, you're going to try and tuck it under, starting to feel the abs and the stomach start to engage. And then on the exhale, you're going to lower the hands, but keep that length in the spine. And then use the hands to walk yourself back. Walking your spine back so that you come back to lay down onto the cushions. If you don't have a cushion, then you can just come to lay on the mat. Either way, if you're seeing if you can create a space with the hips where they feel a little bit open. So if you're in butterfly legs, the, the knees are going to be out to the side and your hips are going to be having a nice deep stretch on the opening. If you're not, then maybe see if you can walk your feet away from each other. So either way that we're opening up into the hips, then the hips just sink into the mat. And then if you can, see if you can just walk yourself so that you feel as if the back is completely connected to the cushions and the ground so that you can completely let go. Make sure that the neck is not kind of suspended. You've got no pain in the neck. You want that to be supported as well. And then option with the hands. So first option, you're going to place your hands on top of your stomach, just underneath the ribs. And this is going to help you really connect into the belly breath. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Feel the belly rise like a balloon. And then you're going to see if you can hold that breath in. Let the hips be heavy, hold the breath. And then as you exhale, just feel the belly fall. Option to keep the hands there if that's right for you. If you've got any issues with your shoulders or maybe some shoulder or upper back pain, then option to bring the hands up towards the sky in front of the face. And then you're going to see if you can drop them behind you. So almost like butterfly arms. Like, but like the butterfly legs with the arms. You're going to bring the hands to the top of the head and then seeing if you can just let the arms fall. So playing with this because it might pull, pull on any tension in the shoulders, come into a place where the elbows are kind of in, in line with the ears and the hands can completely relax. If that's not available to you, you can take your arms out like a T. Closing down the eyes and just bringing our awareness to what this pose is. It's a heart opener as the heart is slightly raised off the ground for the cushions. 
So also a shoulder, a relax, sorry, shoulder release if you've got your hands above your head. It's also a hip opener, whichever way your legs are as well. So there's not much for you to do in this pose, but the body is going to get a lot of benefit if we breathe while we're in this pose. So with the eyes closed, we're gonna take a deep breath in. Send that breath to the base of the belly. Hold the breath at the top, soften the jaw, soften the throat. And then you're just gonna exhale and let the body be heavy. As you take a deep breath in, come back to visualizing that sun on the forehead, top of the head. Relaxing the eyebrows, the cheekbones, and then exhale out. Continuing with the breath at your own pace. Pick a pace that works for you. Seeing if you can make the breath a little bit longer each time. So maybe inhaling in for the count of four or five, holding the breath, and then exhaling out. And then with the eyes closed, I want you to start to visualize the body laying on some warm sand in the sun. Feeling the warmth of the sun on the skin. See if you can really switch off every muscle in the back of the body. Knowing it's supported by this warm, clean sand. It's just melting away any tension, any distracting thoughts. Making sure you stay connected to the breath as you hold this pose for the last few moments. Taking two more deep rounds of breath. Making sure the breath is connected deep into the belly. And then See if you can keep the eyes closed as you come out of the pose. If your hands are above the head, just start to lower them to the side of the hips. And then wherever the knees are, you're just going to guide the knees back in to meet each other. And then we're going to come to pigeon pose before we come to our final relaxation. So option to lift the body up with the hands and remove the cushions away from the mat. If you know reverse pigeon, then you can come to reverse pigeon laying on your back. If you want to come into full pigeon, I'm going to show you how. So if you've got any hip problems, um, you can do this laying on your back. And with, with pigeon, we're going to take the right foot to the left knee. And then you're going to see if you can bring the left thigh closer towards the body. So it's a right hip opener. So right foot on top of left knee. And with the hands on the back of the left thigh, you're just going to guide it closely in towards you. If you want to do full pigeon pose, you're going to do exactly the same, but just the opposite way around. So laying on our front, hands into the mat, the left, right knee comes to the right wrist, and then the right foot is around about the left hip. And then you're just gonna lower the hips down into the mat. So exactly the same pose, but just pigeon or reverse pigeon. If you're in full pigeon with your hands into the mat, then bring in a cushion in front of you. You're just gonna lower the forearms into the mat. And whichever one you're in, this is quite an intense stretch for the right hip. So if you're laying on the back, just guiding that left leg closer towards the chest. If you're in full pigeon, just letting your chest fall closer towards the ground with every breath. The eyes are going to be closed in pigeon poses. It's quite a deep release for the hips. We notoriously hold a lot of emotion in our hips. So the brain and the mind are going to be quite busy in this pose. Probably going to be telling you to get out of it or you don't like the feeling. Seeing if you can sit with that discomfort and just, just let it just be. Just sit with any feelings that come up. Try not to resist them. Using the breath to take it a little bit further, bringing that left knee closer towards the chest or letting the chest fall closer towards the ground if you're in full pigeon. And then silently saying to yourself in your mind, my right hip is completely relaxed. 
My right hip is completely relaxed. I let go of any emotions stored in my hips. Take in one more, more deep breath. And then if you're in reverse pigeon, just letting the left foot fall towards the ground. Gently lower the right foot and then change in sides, left foot to right knee. If you're in full pigeon on the other side, then you're just going to come back to tabletop, dragging that right knee back to the left and then taking the left knee to the left wrist and then lowering the hips down towards the ground. And if one doesn't feel right for you, maybe try on the other. So maybe on one side, you need to reverse pigeon and on the other, you can do full pigeon. Just seeing if you can listen to your own body. So bringing that right knee closer towards the chest with every exhale. Love your own full pigeon and the chest connect more towards the ground. Again, this time we're going to silently say to ourselves in our minds, my left hip is completely relaxed. Use the breath to create more space. Deeply breathe in. Remind the body it's safe in this pose with the breath. Hold at the top. Sending that oxygen right to that left hip. And then with the exhale, just guide that right leg a little bit closer. The breath will open so much space in the body if we just let it sit with the breath and make it deep and meaningful. Whichever pose you're in, whether it be pigeon or reverse pigeon, close the eyes and just surrender to the pose. Whether you feel as if you have physical or emotional issues coming up in this pose, whether there's any resistance to being in the pose. Just sitting with any feelings that come up and just letting them be. Bring a little bit more space with the last two breaths. And then after your next exhale, gently releasing and just come onto this pose whatever way feels natural. So letting the feet come to the mat or if you're in pigeon back to tabletop. And then option to take one last pose, what the body wants. So maybe it's a full stretch up above the head and stretch the feet up for a full body stretch. Whatever pose you need to do, maybe hug the knees in. Take whatever pose you need to before you come to set up for Shavasana. So in Shavasana, I'm going to recommend this evening that you grab two cushions. You're going to have one cushion for the back of the head and the neck, and then you're going to have another cushion for the back of the knees. If you've got your own variation of your Shavasana, then feel free to take that now. Otherwise, you're going to lay down on the mat, but you're going to make sure that the back of the knees are supported by a cushion so that when you come to lay down, the legs are slightly raised from the ground. And then you're going to have a cushion behind the head or the neck. Option to have it kind of lengthways so that when you come down, you're laid down completely so the heart is very slightly raised and they're going to come either side of the body with the palms faced up making sure that you've got no pain if you need to make an adjustment if you need to turn the light off if you need to put a blanket on if you need to grab a drink whatever it is that your body is calling for before you take final relaxation just take that now you'll get so much more from the pose if you take that last stretch or scratch or itch or whatever it is that the body needs so that it can just settle into relaxation and then finding your corpse pose shavasana pose finishing where we started finishing completely laid down on the mat supported by the earth supported by the mat the cushions or the carpet The eyes have opened, you're just going to close them down. And instead of focusing on the breath, I want you to completely let go of any awareness of the breath. Let the body do what it does every day. Just continuing to breathe for us. Instead, you're going to bring your awareness to your body. You're going to bring your awareness to the weight of the body into the ground. 
And I want you to ask yourself the question, how often you really give yourself permission to stop? Stop in complete stillness, in complete silence. Letting the body just completely stop and restore. Acknowledging that the work you've done this evening and the practice is building up to this moment. So we move through the breath and the poses for this reason. Finishing with Shavasana pose. As you've moved the body, you've got your body into a place where it can completely relax and restore. And to help with the relaxation, we're going to come to a summer visualization. So if you've not done visualization before, or maybe you've got a little bit of a busy mind this evening, just let go of any judgment of what it's going to feel like or what it needs to be like. Just let it be however it feels. With the eyes closed, I want you to notice where in your body you're holding tension. Is it the jaw? Is it the forehead? To the back of the hands. Wherever it is, you're just going to imagine a bright yellow light shining on the body. Feeling the warmth quality, like the warmth of the sun shining down. I want you to start to feel that bright gold light on the feet. Feeling the warmth on the soles of the feet top of the foot. See if you can visualize that warm quality coming up the legs. Restoring every part of the body, the muscles, the cells, all the way up to the hips. Feeling the warmth on the stomach up to the chest, the neck, the throat, and the head. And with the body feeling warm and relaxed and restored, you're gonna visualize a place in the sun. Painting the picture in your mind of a beach in a cove with the brightest blue sea that you've ever seen. As you walk on the sand, it's nice and soft and clean. Starting to feel the warmth in the toes and the feet. As you start to look around, you notice that nobody else is there, just you. And she noticed a hammock walking over, laying in the hammock and just starting to feel the body sway from side to side. Feeling the sun shining down on the forehead. Feeling as if there is nowhere for you to be, nothing for you to do. Feeling as if you are exactly where you should be. Starting to notice the sound of the waves coming from the sea. As you walk over towards the water, as you gently walk in towards the water, you notice how warm the water is as you walk in. Gently filling the feet through to the legs until eventually you're completely submerged into the water up to your shoulders. Feeling the bright sun on the forehead, reflecting off the water onto your face. Knowing that this sun is recharging you like a battery. As you take a deep breath in, as you breathe out, you gently lower into the water so the water is completely over the head and the hair, the scalp. As you come back up, you walk out of the water, 
You feel the sun hit the skin, the forehead, the shoulders, chest. As you lay down on the clean white sand, feeling exactly as you feel now, completely supported by the earth, relaxed into the moment where you are. Letting the body sink a little bit more into the sand. If any distracting thoughts come up, just bring your awareness back to the feeling of the sun on the skin, the sound of the waves in the background. The thought that there's nowhere else that you want to be. You're completely connected to yourself. Starting to bring your awareness to your forehead. See if you can switch off every little muscle in the forehead and the eyebrows. Relaxing the cheekbones and the jaw. Very gently open the jaw, just a couple of centimeters. Letting the tongue relax. Melting the back of the shoulders and the neck into the mat. Letting the chest completely relax. Letting the stomach completely relax, the lower back sink a little bit further into the mat. The hips, the left and right glutes, all the way down to the left and the right leg. And then just starting to notice what comes up for you as you lay here in complete stillness, whether the mind is busy, whether you feel as if you're connected to that point of rest and restore. Silently repeating to yourself in your mind, I let my body completely relax and restore in stillness. With your eyes still closed, see if you can connect to the points in between your eyebrows and your third eye. Giving your body just permission to just let go of anything that no longer serves us in the last few moments of relaxation. So any anxiety that we feel as if we're holding on to, any resentments, any arguments, any anxiety about the future of lockdown, Anything that doesn't sit right in the body, just see if you can let it go while you're in this place of relaxation. Let it be as it is and just bring your awareness back to your body and your breath. Starting to connect in a little bit more with the breath, starting to lengthen the inhale in very slowly and lengthen the exhale out very slowly. Starting to bring your awareness back into the body, starting to make very small movements with the head. Just start to roll it from side to side. Starting to wiggle the fingers and toes. And then take any movement that feels intuitive, so maybe a big full body stretch, maybe hugging the knees in towards the chest. And then option to finish and close the practice where you are laying down if you're in a place of total relaxation i really recommend you stay where you are to finish the practice let the body get that last bit of juicy relaxation if you would like to close the practice with me then you're going to roll over onto your left side onto the yin side of the body you're going to use your hands to come back up to a seated position again cushion under the back of the hips with the pelvis tilted forward ever so slightly Then you're going to come to a place with the hands where one palm is on top of the other and just let them fall. Let the hands kind of sit in front of the belly button or on top of the, the feet or the thighs. Start to notice the posture. See if you can sit a little bit taller than you did at the start of class. With the eyes closed, you start to connect back in with the breath. Deep inhales in through the nose. 
This time out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Gently bring in the hands to prayer. A heart center, if that feels right for you, and lowering your gaze towards your hands. Reflecting back on the intention that you set at the start of class. Noticing any difference in the body and the mind than when you started. Being grateful to yourself for dedicating time to practice. Knowing that it is a yoga practice because each time we come to practice, something else might come up for us. Whatever's happened in the day or the week. Knowing that the breath is always there for you to connect back into the body and step out to the mind and into the body. Looking forward to when we actually feel that warm sun on our forehead and that healing quality. And then option to set yourself one intention going into the next few days or the next week. If it feels right for you, gently bring in your hands at prayer, bring them up to your third eye. May you have kind thoughts to yourself for the rest of the week. Bring in your hands towards your lips. May you have kind words to yourself and others. Bring in your hands towards your heart. May you feel confident to stand in your truth. Bow into the practice and to each other. Thank you again for letting me lead you through the practice. Stay safe, stay well, stay connected to the breath. Namaste. Thank you.